if nothing else I'm a very practical man so uh, this is a uh, the BMW 650i convertible and uh, these pistons are failing so that's why they make PVC pipe right <laughs> I don't see any reason in the world to worry about <laughs> buying those things they're super expensive and they're just gonna fail again PVC pipe fail sometimes but not very often in this application so let's go get the battery for the Healy so I can take her for a ride today and uh, so well I think the TR4 is fine and uh, let's take a look at this tender see she was red light uh, when I plugged her in she's green light now so the battery tender 699 or 800 or whatever it is is doing its job so I cleaned out the house so I gotta clean off the trailer right I don't know what's gonna happen today I guess we'll uh, we'll do something I've got a, got a pretty good long list okay well I got this thing I know that's a little overkill but that's the way I am look at that brass and everything a little bit of hardware there so we're gonna pull these off Ooh, ho, ho, ho. look at that I didn't even realize that was the case so what time is it now it's uh about 1:33, and there's the way that goes and we are set I set it on AGM oh no 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 stop sorry Gotta hit this button. AGM. Okay, let's see how long it takes. It's not even giving me the green flashing light there. And this is a brand new battery. I have not owned this battery but for about 40 minutes. So let's see how long it takes. Let me make sure that's the right time because those clocks get frozen and they get weird. Yeah, 129. Actually, that one's a little fast. So let's, uh, let's move it back a little bit. There you go. Okay, let's see how long it takes. And that's a big boss right there. That's your that's your marine quality extreme. A little too close there. Okay, it's focusing well. B3. It's a hit. Well, that kind of uh, peace of mind and uh, satisfaction of knowing uh, will uh, run you $351. And there's a Just Batteries Inc. at windstream.net. Say, so giving a little shout out. They've been pretty good to me. And uh, great advice. Well, they know all about batteries. And they talked about the reason I wanted to bring this up was uh, put that back down there with the battery in the car. They talked about Sean's methodology of the AGM battery is not as good as lead acid in old Harley Davidson's. He said, well, that's completely wrong. He said, what happens is if you don't keep, the, keep them charged, like I said earlier, keep them exercised, keep them charged, uh, keep them up, the, the, the AGM absorption glass mat or whatever it is, those mats uh, will sulfate very quickly when they're not charged. As a matter of fact, if you bring the battery back, uh, in a lot of places, an AGM battery is completely dead. They will not warranty it because uh, that 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 just it's all. I don't now. I'll tell you a story. I I accidentally drained one to the ground one time to zero, and it came back like a champ. This happened in Daphne, a long time ago, and I'm running that same battery. So, uh, but they said if you bring it in, it's not charged and won't hold a charge. Then you must have let it. It's your fault. So uh, don't if you get one of these batteries, get a battery tender like I showed on my uh, other video or whatever battery tender you want. That charger that you just saw is also a tender. So just kind of go out there and rotate around, keep them batteries going. I got a feeling the Jaguar one's going to die. <laughs> and the Jaguar one's very special. So I'll probably, if I go in, I'll probably have to order that one. That's a weird size battery. It's very small for such a big motor. 4.2 liter high compression uh, straight six and it uses a battery about a third the size that you just saw but uh, that's the way they are 
It is still not fully charged and it has been over 45 minutes. So remember, alternators are not battery chargers. They are just like that thing over there. They're a tender. They're not really a charger. I mean, you know, I guess, you know, if you have to, but uh, that puts a lot of stress on them. Charge your batteries, even when they're brand new. I like that brass, say. Pretty stuff. Let's put that cover back on that one, though. Okay. That's a, that's a pretty groovy hookup there. We had a... I showed the charging, the voltmeter out of it yesterday. We had, we had a Chris Craft when I was a boy. And it had a ski hoss battery in it. And I think that thing lasted 12 years. Well, they used to make batteries really tough, especially marine ones. That's why I kind of went with this. Because it's extreme. One of the things that I recommend you do is either write the date on it, use this thing, get your receipt, put it in a paper bag, get some box tape, and stick it to the back of the battery. And then that way, if you have to prorate it or anything like that, you always put it right there and you won't even see it. Still charging. It's been about 50 something minutes now. Yeah. So, anyway. Word to the wise. Just over an hour, we finally got the green light. Okay, it fits fine in here. I'll show you where we are back at the car. And it fits okay. One thing people don't know is that there are two places to hook up uh, these J hooks. And I'm not going to be able to use this one quite yet because it's a little too close to the terminals up here. But there's a, there's a, see that hole right here, that thing right there? There's a place you can hook up there. And there's one a little further, further back. So there's two places to put your J hook in. But it's way too close to the terminals. But it'll fit in there fine. But I just, I just can't, I ain't going to be doing that. We'll have to do something. I'll have to come up with something else. So I got this one in here good and tight. I got that ready to go. Let me tell you, this these brass terminals, that's a cat's meow right there. Meow, meow, baby. <laughs> I'm digging on that. That is lovely. Okay, make sure you're keyed in there. Okay, and we'll see if we can get her to strike up here. See if we can get the Harley out of this place, finally. I got a feeling we're going to have... All the CCA that a man would ever want. Okay, so let's double check that. And then this has that bar thing. Okay, and uh, unlike my friend in Australia, my bootleg clothes is pretty good. Okay, there we go. Okay, I've already filmed riding around in the thing, so today the, the object is to get some get that thing out of here and get some miles on it let's see how she cranks because the fuel pump went like God Almighty whoa yeah baby <laughs> come on keep going okay, well she did great I just love doing this. I'll show you the Harley dance and thumbs up there and subscribe. And uh, let's get everything back in. I put everything else back here. Pull the tractor in and I call this a day. It's been a long day. I've done a bunch. So uh, I'll sweep this out tomorrow. And I'll sweep the place out. All right. That's what's it like outside. Sun and moon wise. Huh? Actually sprinkled a little rain on me bugs are out a little bit don't see no moon coming up or nothing usually it's over here about this time of time of the month all right see you next time we'll think of something else to do bye bye